Let's hit it. Uh, this first ad was sent by Trey uh, Jorgensen. It was actually sent by like two or three different people. We carried so, this over from the last episode because so, we uh, didn't get to it, and Nick wants to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so I, I am glad we're doing this. Uh, this is a 1995 ESP M2 Deluxe Custom Shop OJ Simpson Mugshot Chris Compton Artwork. Uh, it says, out of my personal collection comes my infamous 1995 ESP2 Deluxe Custom Shop guitar fe- featuring a painted. No. It's not a photograph. A mug shot of the notorious O.J. Simpson done by the legendary Chris Compton. For those that don't know, Mr. Compton is known for his unbelievably detailed work and has done custom guitars for the biggest names out there, including Kirk Hammett, who is the first electric guitar player to create a pedal company, Dave Mustaine, <laughs> and Stephen Carpenter. This piece was commissioned back in 1994, finished in 95, right in the heart of the trial. This piece was featured at the Rocky Mountain Guitar Show in Denver in 96. It was briefly mentioned in Vintage Guitar Magazine in the 96 issue of Vintage Guitar Magazine. Uh, Features a 24-fret rosewood board on a wicked fast. I don't feel like anything else in here is important. Yeah, don't read anymore. Let's just talk about it. Because the most important thing here is Orange Julius Simpson. Is Is it Orange Julius or Orange Juice? His name is Orenthal. I think it's Orenthal James. Right. But Orange Julius is like It's like a the company. thing at Dairy Queen. Yeah. yeah. Like they make a whipped orange drink. His, yeah. Like, like an orange bang. I think it, he, they call him <laughs> OJ after orange juice, not after Orange Julius. Yeah, I was confused. Okay. I'm not, I don't how even know anything about sports and I know that. How many of these exist though? All, all you got to know. This has got to be the only one, right? This is the only one? Because it's Cause worth it. It's painted. This it's is just super sick. It's so crazy. Like, I didn't realize it was all the way back from 1995. I assumed, like, this was, like, a punk rock, like, oh, let's put the stupidest thing we can think of on a guitar, like, three years ago thing. But they, someone made this, like, in, like, within months of all this going down with OJ. That's insane. Yeah, like, in it's the moment. so bizarre and so weird to, like, Lay tribute to this crazy like news thing going on. By- it seems kind of weird back then, but I feel like now that it's all past, this would be like the sickest thing you could have. Oh, I think it's it's, it's rad. I would totally play this. Would you, but <laughs> this I would, would be like my personal <laughs> go to guitar. The, the, oh, I gotta get the OJ guitar. <laughs> the problem here, so I I'll phrase this differently for both of you. Uh, for Ryan, would you pay seventy five hundred, or for Nick, would you trade two Prisma guitars? Basically, f- to get this guitar, yeah, I would definitely do. That. <laughs> 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 I would not pay seventy five hundred dollars because I don't have that kind of money, and I don't think I'll ever spend that much money on a guitar just because of the picture that's on it. If anyone that's listening thinks that this is stupid, they need to check themselves because <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's, just, it's essentially just a black Strat style. Like ESP. it's done so strangely. Like, like, <laughs> they, like it's literally like as if this is the guitar and then someone printed out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It's OJ, huge. And then just like put it on top of the guitar so, so, I mean, before they that took is- the photo. <laughs> like, <laughs> it looks like it's like just like photoshopped where like they just dragged in the OJ photo but like didn't do any work to it yet. It's right. just like on top of it. But it's an actual like <laughs> painting. The guy like painted it in like a photorealistic way. I guess what I'm talking about is that the guitar is black and then like the back, like he didn't even make the background like no, the same color. So it it's like looked, just, it, fo- it literally does look like a printed out eight and eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, which yeah. is really big on this guitar. It like his picture fills up from like the top of his head to the, you're going to be the s- opening on his shirt. You're going to be the strumming a hole in OJ's forehead. That's my, that was actually my only concern was like, Oh man, but then you ruin it when you yeah. play it. Cause it's like, it's got to have a clear coat on it, right? It's got to yeah, have some sort yeah, of poly it over to. it. But, uh, I mean, yeah. legit, like, this guitar was probably, like, 2000... Like, just... If this was stock being sold by ESP, this would have been, like, a $2,000 guitar. I don't know. No, I'm saying, like, ESP stuff is, like, super expensive. Oh, I know. When you get, like, your custom stuff, it's, it's yeah. expensive. Yeah, like, I'm else. saying... That's what I'm saying. Like, if you would have just gotten this guitar, no additional graphics, it would have been, like, two, $3,000. Easy. Mm. 
Like, so you, I mean, legitimately, like, this is probably a great playing guitar. Uh, what I want to know is, as soon as this go, gets dropped off at the post office, <laughs> is it the responsibility of the seller to go onto all of their social media outlets and post, the juice is loose? Oh, my gosh. Jeez Louise, Steve. I like this thing. I I might buy it. Is it still alive? <laughs> I think it is. I bet it is. You should make them an offer. Oh, <laughs> you man. Should, no, you should just make a tribute to it. What do you mean? Like make your own version of it. Yeah, but I can't do it with the same person. It would have to be like my own portrait of something else. Like who else could we do? Like El Chapo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of relevant. Yeah, yeah. Like a year ago. <laughs> well, I feel like I mean, Charlie Manson just died. Like a, I don't a know why, but ago. I feel like you should go with someone who's like just complete like white collar criminal. Like you should put like Martha Stewart's mugshot on there. That'd be cool. That'd be kind of cool. I'd be down. I'm I'm trying to think right now. Did you hear? Wait, do you guys know who Gerard Carmichael is? Uh, I don't know. I would take no. this to a different route. But Gerard Carmichael is a super funny comedian, and he does this uh, one set where he talks about if Twitter was around when the OJ trial was happening. Okay. And he was like, I could just imagine OJ tweeting some crazy stuff. And, he, and, and uh, he's like, OJ, I'm going to read a series of tweets that you did on the night of the murder and it's like uh white bitches be tripping <laughs> like, <laughs> and then the last one was like how's she gonna run like i wins not win the heisman <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> that's dark <laughs> super dark but like hilarious yeah. <laughs> honestly that guy is so funny Gerard you're like Carmichael. 10 years younger than me do you remember the oj stuff going down dude not really i'll, I'll as much as i know I, I was like 12 or something like that i just know from what i read about it and then also they did that tv sh- series with like Cuba Gooding jr right right it was a so which I, actually was pretty damn good i never watched it i i remember watching like the car chase and everything on tv and like it being a thing i was old enough that i was watching uh late night tv at the time and like david letterman or Jay Leno would do the dancing Edos where they had a bunch of guys dressed oh, up yeah. like the judge from the from the trial and he would they were like fifteen of them would come out and dance like Yeah, all like, right. I got you one up already. Okay. Wait, so did he get in he Got away with it, right? Yeah, yeah, but then he had to pay them a bunch of so, money. So, so well, there was like a so, like, so, so there's a cri- there's work? a criminal trial and a civil trial. This is like the yeah. most off topic we have ever. There's been. A, so, th- dude, this it, is way more it, important. It, it, <laughs> they're so relevant <laughs> to this guitar. There's, there's a criminal trial and a civil trial, and in a criminal trial, in order to be convicted, you have to have like twelve out of twelve jurors, like one hundred percent agreement. Yeah. But in a civil trial, like you don't have to have a hundred percent. I don't know what the what the number is, but basically, like if a number that's not one hundred percent, like you don't have to like we'll just say like two thirds or something. Yeah, say like it's that. like say it's like eight out of twelve or like ten out of twelve. That's enough to find you at fault because for a civil trial, all it's saying is like that it's your fault. You might not be like guilty of a crime, but it's your fault that this thing happened. But in a criminal trial, they have to actually it's determine like the that, small claims that you did it. Murder. Right, wow. right. I just like don't even get it. You know? Yeah, it's so, crazy. So basically, O.J. Simpson was, was acquitted of a crime, but the crime that happened of like murdering these people was his fault. I, like that's, that's how it that works. How does make sense? Yeah. Uh, so I was in elementary school when this happened and we actually like stopped class and it was at a private, like at a church school at a, at a Christian school and we stopped class and we went into the auditorium, and which watched. is actually like the church building what? and watched the, uh, the, the chase? uh, no, not the chase, but we watched the verdict. What? We took like they an took hour you of out of class to, to watch, watch the, the OJ, OJ verdict. verdict. Yeah, that's insane. Because if this was like ninety six, so this was when I was. Oh, in this like is sixth like sixth grade. This is like pre nine eleven before anything actually important have it had actually true. happened. True, like, true. I guess this was the biggest news to ever go down. Yeah, and it's like this is like, I don't think there's ever been a trial in American culture that was covered the way this thing no. was. Like it became part of like no, that's insane. Our culture. But yeah, this guitar is just completely insane. I think the price is way over the top because you could do the same thing with a printed out photo and some mod 
Podge, you 25 know. 25 watchers, guys. 25 people are watching this. Well, we're watching it. I mean, I'm I'm in there. Yeah, and plus, Ryan, this was done by Chris Compton, the famous mugshot painter. Sure. Wait, really? Oh, is that's that what his the thing? Says. Is that what his title is? I guess so. Famous mugshot All painter. All right, let's move on to talking about you.